Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. In this episode, we will take a look at how to manage your Creative Themes account. We'll go into detail on how to deactivate licenses on any website you might have and how to manage your licenses, including upgrading to a better plan or turning off the recurring payment. Let's get going. First, you'll need to navigate to the Creative Themes website. Then, click on the My Account button at the top. Log in and you're ready to manage your account. The first thing you'll see is a list of websites on where you've activated your licenses. Details such as the website's address, what product has been activated on it, the plan, the initial install date, and so on. Clicking on one of the websites will give you a few options. The most notable one here is the option to deactivate the license from said website. This will make that website return automatically to the Bloxy free feature set. It will not break the website at all, just that the Bloxy Pro features will be deactivated. You'll also notice a couple of other interesting features. For example, while the dashboard doesn't currently allow you to completely remove a site from the list after everything has been uninstalled from it, you can easily mark it as uninstalled or deactivated, so you can filter the list of websites easier. There are also options for the license, such as restricting on which websites it can be activated. But we'll talk more about that in a bit. Next up, we'll move on to the Downloads tab. Here, you'll currently see the Bloxy Companion Pro plugin purchased from Creative Themes. You can easily download them from this screen using the handy blue button. Nothing too complicated here. The Licenses tab is where it's at. In here, you'll see all the Creative Themes licenses attached to your account. There can be multiple licenses here, depending on your use case and how you're managing things. Clicking on one of the licenses will give you a bunch of options. For example, from here, you can upgrade your license plan to a higher level. You can also copy the license key if you need to activate a product on a website with just a single click. The information pane also shows you how much time is remaining until the license expires in case of a subscription, as well as the number of sites on which the license is activated. Note that in case you have some staging domains attached to this license, the license utilization counter might show something like two licenses used out of one. This is completely normal, as staging domains do not count against the license limit. You can find out more about which domains are allowed in our documentation on our website. Remember we talked about restricting the sites that the license can be activated on. The Restrict Websites button will let you do just that, giving you the ability to have your license extra secured by going on a whitelist-based approach. Another interesting option that we can find here is the removal of license information from a user's WordPress dashboard. Very useful in case you have a web agency that creates web solutions for their clients. This will hide all the licensee information from the client's dashboard, such as the license key, the name and email of the account and more. Moving on to the Orders History tab, here you will be able to find all your invoices for your Creative Themes purchases. For example, if you're going on a subscription-based model, you will find all the invoices when the license has renewed. Easy to download and file in just a few clicks on the blue invoice button on the right. Let's also check out the Renewals and Billings tab. Here, you'll be able to find information about all of your Creative Themes subscriptions. Click on one of the licenses and the information pane will pop up. This is also the place where you can cancel your subscription so that after the billing cycle is done, you will not get billed anymore. Also, there's an option to update your credit card information in case you want to change it for the next billing cycle. The rest of the options are pretty much the same, of what you'll find on the other tabs, as we've noted them down already. Under the My Profile tab, you will find your contact information, as well as all the necessary data that will go onto your billing invoice. You can enter your name, email address, change your password, as well as filing in the company information, if the invoice needs to be addressed to a business. One interesting thing to note here is that your invoices will auto-regenerate if you change any information here. 
So for example, if you've accidentally purchased the license as a classic user, you can come in, fill in the necessary business details and re-download your new invoice, as the old one will be automatically cancelled. Last but not least, we will take a look at the Earn tab. Here, you can become a Creative Themes affiliate member and promote our products in exchange for a percentage of the sale. Affiliates are accepted on a case-by-case -case basis, so if you need additional information, you can drop us a line via our support section on our website. This is pretty much it. The account pane should be super simple to understand as the options are clear and concise. We hope this video has been helpful and as usual, if you need anything from our site, don't fret and drop us a line at creativethemes.com. Until next time, have a good one.